Hello again, Llewellyn King here, co-host of ME CFS Alert. I am joined by Pat Farrow, who has a story that will move your heart. Pat, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. You yourself have been a sufferer for more than 30 years, or about 30 years? About 30 years. I came down with an infection uh, when I visited UK. I came back sick um, in 1980. But more important, your son became the victim and sadly died. Tell us that story. Yes, Casey was uh, born premature um, at 33 weeks. Seemed to do very well. But I saw an onset of symptoms at an early age. I couldn't, I didn't know what was wrong with me. But I had my, my diagnosis uh, early in 1987 and I suspected it in him. When he was nine, uh, he got his first diagnosis. Uh, he was uh, white as a ghost, and he had lost a lot of his innate uh, intelligence. It seemed to me couldn't ride a bike. There's a he missed. He lost a lot of functioning ability. Diagnosed again when he was 15. He managed to get a high school diploma, but was home half days. He did. Um, he believed that with exercise and with uh, thinking his way strong by lifting weights that he could make himself better. As it turned out, he, um, he died the morning of July 4th, 2005, um, very quickly, and died well, I might add. Uh, we found him in the basement, the first came up, screamed, Casey's dead. And that was at about 7.30 in the morning. He hadn't moved on the couch, so I know it happened very quickly, which is why I said he died well. Um, the coroner came, I think it's important to say the coroner came in the morning of July 4th, 2005, and they went through all the vitamins and supplements and said, this is a steroid death. I told them he was not taking steroids, I knew what the kid was doing, we had a good relationship. They took everything out of the house and tried to prove that he was, a, it was a steroid death through tax fees, which all came back negative. So, the official uh, cause of death is never CFS, as you might be aware. Uh, he died of viral myocarditis. Uh, the problem is that, that he had scar tissue, this is on pathology, in September of 2005. He had scar tissue from previous infections and inflammation. And the pathologist told me, I was surprised to find, find information. Er, I'm sorry, I was surprised to find a viral infection loaded with virus. I told the coroner, I sent articles, I did everything I could to have them look further for the type of virus and, and they, they wouldn't do that. They didn't find the serotonin. So that was in 2005, very sad. We had two children, we wanted two, now we have one. And I'm happy to have her. Thank you, Pat. Good luck to you.